Okay, so this is just a quick update on the sanding work. And again, keeping things so that they're in very clean, determined strokes um, just helps really define the shape. And obviously there's areas like this, which, because it's sort of plastic, I'm going to try and use the, uh, the car body filler to stick to that rather than the, the water-based one. So there's a reason that's got a sort of really poorly finished area. The same with this side as well. However, all the sort of contouring up here and around the switches, um, I've been sort of doing quite, quite sort of broad strokes, really sort of trying to define the shape. And even then I've sort of cut a radius into this block, which you can see there, and that's allowed me to just sort of rock it in that sort of groove there. So one of the interesting things is, is that if you try and, when you're working at this low level, try and almost define that edge so it's quite sharp, and then what it means is that you can really quite accurately assess the sort of flow of the of the geometry, you know. And obviously, it's quite actually it's actually quite useful that the red line has bled through. Um, and what that means is that you can then add the radius by sanding it down, but you have confidence that you know how the profile is actually working and where all the lines are converging to. So again, you can take it to as much detail or as little detail as you like, but it's quite helpful to actually have these bleeding through so you can see what you're doing.